which suite offers better collaboration tools for remote teams? That question is a little bit subjective, I guess. It depends what you define as collaboration. Do you mean working on the same document at the same time? Do you mean working collaboratively in real time? Sure, Google's live updating on documents, the ability to have a Google Sheet that lets you create a filter view which lets you filter data and it doesn't mess up the other person's data. The ability to work in Google Chat and see someone's status, whether they're online or not, whether they're in a meeting or not, whether they're off sick for the day or not. The ability to go back to any version of any document and see cell by cell changes on a spreadsheet through the revision history feature on Google Docs, Google Sheets and Google Slides. The ability to put files into Google Drive, have them magically and immediately appear on everyone's machines and save different versions of files, even if they're not a Google file. You can save documents, even Microsoft documents if you want. Images, videos, PDFs, any of those kind of documents and have the revision history saved in Drive. Does Microsoft do those things? Well, yes, they've got their online Excel and their, I think they've got online Word as well that you can use with someone else. Is it as good as Google, not really. Some of them are a bit clunky. Most people report they're a bit clunky. OneDrive, does it synchronize files? Yes, most people say that the performance is not that great. And when you have hundreds of thousands of files, it starts breaking and getting a little bit buggy. Does Microsoft have an online chat? Yes, they've got Microsoft Teams, but many people say, eh, it's not amazing for chat. And it's a little bit better to instead use something like Slack. So my pitch is, Yes, I think Google's better for online teams with remotely distributed businesses. But for some people, they look at the tools and they say, well, this doesn't actually do exactly what I need. Maybe you're a financial services business and you're all heavy Excel users and use Excel in day in, day out. And you've got advanced macros set up and you want Excel to be a powerhouse because you're working with large data sets of data. And Google does fall over if you throw 10,000 rows at a Google Sheet it will start to slow down and it doesn't quite work as nicely as Excel does on a beefy local computer. If you're a law firm and you've got software that makes precedence and inserts blobs of text into Word documents and tracks the changes and allows you to make changes in your software and have them automatically update a document, for the most part, you can't do that with Google. I mean, most people use ChatGPT these days, right? But most lawyers are still generating and creating documents using software like this that has to use Microsoft Word. For the most part, it doesn't work with Google Docs. So if you're in one of those kind of unique scenarios where doing things the Microsoft way happens to work better for you, well then subjectively, that might be better for collaboration. What most businesses choose, if you're a new business, if you're digital natives, if you've got a predominantly younger generation team, typically Google Workspace is the answer. And sometimes that's just because what was in front of people when they signed up to Wix or Squarespace and they clicked the button that said, I want email, hey, they got a Workspace account. Or they bought a domain name through Google Domains, no longer exists anymore, but they had a one click button to set up email and they got onto Google. Or maybe you've used Gmail forever and you're a lover of Gmail and you left school, you went and worked in corporate, someone gave you an Outlook account, you went, oh, what's this? And then when you started your side hustle or your own business, you decided, okay, I wanna go with Google. And so you choose to use a Google Workspace account. I'd love to know what you think about this for many of our customers. They've been in the Google world for so long now, it's not even a question whether or not they wanna use Microsoft. We also have larger customers who have more traditional businesses or they've got industries that prefer the Microsoft ecosystem who we do support as well. Many businesses use a little bit of both. They might be using Google for their email and their calendar and most of their documents, but some staff in their team still wanna use Microsoft format documents or their clients or customers wanna use Microsoft format documents. And so they pay for a subscription to Office 365 just to get access to Word and Excel. If you're making the choice between the two ecosystems, you can go and sign up for a Gmail account, get an idea of what it feels like to work with the rest of the Google ecosystem because adding your domain name for Google Workspace is pretty much gonna be same same with what you get with Gmail. Google Workspace does come with some specific features that are better for businesses like shared drives. You've got the ability to manage all the user accounts so you can reset people's passwords. You can enforce policies on people's computers, on their Google Chrome, on their accounts, add remove features, all those things are available when you have a business account with Google Workspace. And then you've got some advanced security features. If you are in the medical field or the consulting field and you wanna save a copy of every email in and out of your business, you can use a product like Google Vault to do that, to keep your business data safe and secure. 
If you're dealing with personal records or personal information, you could use a enterprise plan with Google Workspace and use a feature called DLP or data loss prevention, which lets you to define certain pieces of data like maybe a medical record or a date of birth or a credit card number and make sure they're never stored in plain text, much less emailed to anyone from your business or around inside your business. So many features there. If you wanna try out the Google ecosystem or you want some help with that, you can always click the link below and get some help from our team. Or of course, have a browse around the channel. Plenty of information on how to get Google Workspace humming for your business. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.